Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Phil Chenever speaking to you from lovely LibriVox land, wherever that is all over the world. That was my cat, paid no attention to that. Um, I am here, and you are looking at the LibriVox forum. This is the entrance to the forum. We have many doors leading off of this forum, going to book suggestions, new projects. Readers wanted all this stuff, and it's wonderful. You can smell that coffee roasting, those cinnamon buns being baked. And the question is, where are you going to go today? Well, today we're going to go to install uh, Replay Gain into Audacity. Now, in every forum page at the top, there is a link to our wiki. I'm going to click that right now. Every page has this. Cool. Now, our wiki has tremendous amounts of great information, but today we're just going to find out where to download uh, Replay from. R-E-P-L-A-Y. And the suggestion is Replay Gain. And it takes us to the page of Replay Vein. Re replay Gain. <clears throat> Measuring volume within audacity. Um, it is helpful to know whether your volume is correct before exporting your recording to an MP3 file. There is a plugin, a Nyquist plugin, called Replay Gain, which allows you to do this. And it will also, if you want, automatically correct your recording to um, 89 decibels, close to 89 decibels. So the first thing we do is where do we get it from? Right here. <coughs> Pardon me. right here now this is a link which will download it but if you want to choose where you're going to download it to right click and it gives you an option of all these things I would say save link as and then I'm using Windows 10 I should have specified that before this is not Apple Windows 10 and it will say where you're going to download this to. In this case, it's going to this PC into downloads. That is absolutely fine. If you happen to click on this multiple times, by, by uh, you'll get some error message. But don't worry, the the downloads in your down wherever you're saving it to. Save. Yes, there's that that message I'm talking about. We'll just close it down. Now I open up my uh, directory here. Go to my downloads, downloads. There it is, replay gain. Right click, copy. Now I have to put this into Audacity. Where is Audacity? Oh, where is Audacity? There it is. Windows C, that's my main drive. And in here I have program files, 86. And right at the top is Audacity. Double click to open that up. There is a folder marked plugins. I'm going to right click paste and of course I have it in there already but I'm going to replace that file give it permission it's very protective of me now the file is in audacity let's open up audacity here's one right here as you can see there's no recording um, here so it, I can't use any effects so I'm going to record this is a recording for LibriVox all LibriVox recordings are in the public domain yes they are Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Um, now, what volume level is that? To me, that looks pretty good. That looks very quite close to um, to thing. Let's make one louder, make one softer. And now, LibriVox brings you tales from the crypt. Yes, we're going to tell you creepy tales. That's a little softer. Now, you can do the whole track, or you can choose part of your track. Let's do the whole track. I'll click over here and that sets the whole thing. Let's shrink it down. Then effect. Wait. Where's replay gain? I put it in here. Ha 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 ha. This is where I stumbled many, many times. I couldn't find it. I put it in there, couldn't find it. Well, there's at the top of your effect menu, there is an add remove plugin. This is where you can choose to actually enable those things. Um, let's find replay game. It is disabled. You click on click on it and then come down here 
and click enable okay now let's see if I can see it there it is replay game uh, well I did a good job there okay okay um, now when you open the replay gain you can analyze it which will tell you basically what it is I'm almost at 89 I'm, I'm 0.4 okay if I wanted to bring that up I would go to replay gain and go to uh, normalize and it would bring it up by a little bit bring it up to 89 that's it folks thank you for watching I want you to continue having great deal of fun and recording for LibriVox don't be afraid try all this stuff um, when you export your file by the way um, as an mp3 it should be close to 89 so if you're frustrated by them telling you it's too low or it's too high just use this wonderful little plugin thank you for watching and do lots and lots uh, this is Phil Chenevere, the LibriVox guy, and I'm going to go back and drink my coffee and put my feet back into the bayou, my yashar.